how did it feel to get that involved in the passing game for that series? What was that like? Just the, the momentum of the ball kept coming to you? Uh, it feels good to always make catches to be able to help the team. Uh, but I feel like I'm always the type of guy that whatever I need to do to help the team block and catching. But definitely catching the ball does feel good. So I'm thankful for that. Is there like added anxiety or like excitement when you know the ball might could be coming to you on these plays? No, not necessarily. You practice it all week at practice, and so I guess the only difference between that and being out here is the crowd. And of course, that can get to people sometimes. But I think if you practice it well enough, then you should be ready for game day. Do you have a maybe a better familiarity with Alex than, than maybe Trey or the other guys in the rotation, just because the the way you guys run ones and twos out of practice? I mean, uh, yeah, technically I. I guess that's true, but um, whether it's James or Alex and both, we're very confident in both their abilities to help us win games. So, I mean, at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter who's in. Any theories on why the offense is so hot early in games and then kind of has these lulls? Um, I don't think that necessarily we're hot or we're not. I just think that we come out at the beginning of the game strong and it, um, as the game goes on, we just have to make sure that we're continuing to uh, carry, out, carry out our assignments and do things the way we need to do to be able to uh, execute on offense and finish drives and score points throughout the game, not necessarily just at the beginning. Uh, coming into the season, there was an emphasis on skilled players and blocking. Um, just at this point in the season, what have you seen in terms of improvement with that? Um, I think that the skill uh, position has done a lot better job this year of being able to block on the perimeter. That helps us uh, being able to expand plays. I think everyone saw in the film that Keith Gavin pancaked two people on one play. I mean, that doesn't usually ha that doesn't happen every day in college football. So that's huge from a skill perspective. Your guy had to change positions when Coach Terry came in. Is the way that you're being used this year and, and the use of Drake kind of showing you know, your faith and sticking to it, and, and like you said, being a team guy, doing what, you know, whatever it takes. Yeah, I mean, uh, I've always had faith in the staff, the system. So whatever they ask me to do. I'm going to do it, but um, from a skill perspective, it's not necessarily that big of a difference. I guess the main difference would be the routes that I'm having to run, but uh, blocking-wise, it's not that big of a difference. I'm going to be blocking linebackers, DNs um, in both systems, so I think that that's benefited me from the old system to this system, but the only big difference is just the routes I have to run. Still one more for Gabe here. Coach Tiger was talking yesterday about Marvin and how hard he plays on game day, but he said it's, it's like that every day out here, too. What, what, what were your impressions of Marvin when he first no, no, got no. to team it, when he got here and just as, as a competitor? I mean, he's always been a hardworking guy. He's the kind of guy that comes out at the beginning of the practice ready to push the pace. I mean, for someone that weighs that much and to be able to run around like a skill player is huge from a momentum standpoint. We need guys like that. To, so if you look across the field and you see him going hard, you have no excuse not to go hard for yourself.